paperless day begins when students enter the classroom and follow the morning routine of retrieving their devices, setting up, and logging into our class webpage to see the agenda, assignments, and homework for the day. Students may check their grades online, and then we have 10 to 15 minutes of typing, including touch type keyboarding practice, or opportunities for students to type up their homework from the previous day. Next up is Common Core Math, currently using the Engage New York curriculum. We have a quick review quiz of the previous day's lesson, then learn the day's new concept. In this case, we're using the Thinking Blocks website as a virtual manipulative and modeling tool. Sometimes we have additional practice and reviews in Khan Academy. But more importantly, students are creating their own Khan Academy style tutorials for self-review and peer teaching purposes. show you how to do a one step equation and the equation is negative 3 equals x minus 2 so I'm gonna draw a picture because I think that way it's easier so I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw the picture with dots and the fill in dots are negative and the not fill in dots are positive so 1 2 3 equals x and then saying minus is like saying negative, so I'm going to do two negative dots. One, two. And we're going to get the variable by itself, so we're going to do two positive dots. One, two. During our reading block, we often have practice and assessment of basic skills using games, websites, and software like Lexia Core 5. We're currently engaged in a novel unit, so a quick poll everywhere question up on the screen is used to get formative feedback about whether the students read the book and remember what is happening in the plot. Following this, students are having group discussions and independently creating trading cards of the characters of the novel using a tool at readwritethink.org. Finally, we have a quick spelling pretest using a Google form, which is automatically graded using Fluberoo, and students check their email for immediate feedback to write down which words they will need to practice for homework. Social Studies requires finding and using content from a variety of sources, including the ebook version of our hardcore textbook. as well as various website resources which the teacher has located and provided for the students using a live binder to provide multiple related websites in one location. Using these resources, students are creating a variety of products including maps, timelines at tikitaki.com, even creating our own version of a Rosetta Stone after doing online research to learn hieroglyphics and cuneiform. In science, we've used a combination of project-based learning, Google Docs, and Discovery Education Techbook. Today, students are exploring various videos and written articles to finish their charts about energy sources, and then using a virtual lab to practice designing an experiment related to energy conservation for cooling a building.
In addition to recording the process and the data results in Google Docs, students will later use apps such as Doodleinator to create illustrated or animated diagrams of the scientific concepts they've learned, and will extend those concepts to hands-on activities and classroom presentations. Finally, students reflect upon their work in a website portfolio using Google Sites, which will allow them to take pride in their work as they showcase it for a global audience. We also check our class dojo, which has been used to track effort and behavior throughout the day, and shows us how we can improve to have an even better day tomorrow.